If you actually want to study, I'll be out on quad. Wait, Bethany, you still have to do my help me with my stats homework. Bethany! Uh, well then... Uh, hold on. We still have unfinished business, you and I. Don't even think about it. Not that. Although I like where your filthy little mind is at, you owe me a dare. Fine, let's just get this over with, but I'm not letting you get to second and a half base. We'll see. You see that guy over there? Yeah. He's kind of cute. Cuter than you anyways. What about him? I dare you to ask him out. What's the catch? No catch. Ask him out and I'll acknowledge you as the dare master. And uh, I'll never ask you out again. Deal? You got yourself a deal. Good luck. Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, hi. Yeah, do you need something? Hey, Chuck. Oh, hey, Zane. Uh, asked you to call me Charlie. Remember? Yep, sorry, my bad. Chuck just kind of rolls off the tongue, you know? <laughs> hi, sorry about him. He was voted king of the jerks back in high school. And well, you know, heavy's the head that wears the crown, but... You two know each other. I mean, yeah, kinda. He's in my recitation class for Psych 101. Who I don't know is you. Um, Charlie, call me Charles. Uh, and please don't make any X-Men jokes because I've heard way too many of them already. Taylor, um, I just came over here because, uh... Oh, are you guys, like, together? Is he, like, your boyfriend? Oh, no! God, no! Uh... We dated a bit while back in high school, but no, no, he's just a friend. Good, that's good. I mean, you know, that's it's not good. Uh, you know, it's uh, sad. Guys didn't work out. Don't worry, didn't lose too much sleep over it. Um, but you're still probably wondering why I came over here. I just wanted to ask you if you would tutor me in physics. How did you know that I... Oh, Zane told me. Uh, yeah, he told me you were brilliant. Stunningly brilliant, I think you said. Right. Uh, sure. Yeah, I would love to help you out. I would be more than willing to help you out. But these don't look like mine. Are you in an advanced course? Yeah, this is an introduction to quantum mechanics. That's a 400 level. I... He's some kind of genius. I started to see Charlie more often. Despite it being a cover for my embarrassment, I really did need help with physics. He was the smartest person I'd ever met, and he was such a good teacher. So kind and patient, really patient. Bathroom? We became more and more comfortable around each other. Talking with him was just so effortless. I felt like I'd known him all my life. We liked the same things, laughed at the same goofy jokes. Even though I was so far away from my family for the first time, he made me feel home. Oh, what do you want? Uh, I don't know, maybe like a- Whoa! Sorry, Ironside, couldn't see you down there. Those jerks. Is everything all right? You good? Yeah, never better. He told me that he had been paralyzed from the waist down since birth. I'd never even thought about all the difficulties people with disabilities have to face. Stairs without ramps, public transportation, bathrooms. As if his life wasn't hard enough, he also had to put up with constant teasing. Some people can be so cruel. It's 
It's not even the big issues that bother me anymore. I mean, they do, obviously, but it was impossible to get a job, a minimum wage job in high school because there was just no workspaces for me, anything, nothing for me. And, and don't get me started on the curbs. They're gonna be the end of me, I tell ya. So then, what does bother you? I mean, really? It's the tiny little annoyances that just pile up every single day. Adults who talk down on me and think I'm just some, some kind of child or just people that ask inappropriate questions and <laughs> the bullies. For crying out loud, Zane, Connor, don't you two have somewhere else to be total creeps? Not until four. Right around the same time, you'll be at the handicapped stall trying to get a rise out of Professor X. Stop, he's just, he's not worth it. Wow. When did you grow a spine that actually works? For your information, Chucky, I used to be all kinds of worth it. Ain't that right, hey? All right, that's enough. Seriously, back off. Or what? He'll run me over? Please, you wouldn't even have looked his way if I hadn't dared you to. That's enough! I've had it up to here with you. You, get out right now. Before I call the campus security and have them throw you out. Is that true? Is it? Charlie. I. Charlie, please wait. I didn't know this was high school. Surely, you aren't going to let that Neanderthal get the best of you. What? I've seen you two together in here almost every day for the past month. You've been studying physics, but I've been seeing a whole lot more chemistry. I love the soaps, dear. Always have. It's my uh, guilty pleasure. And this little drama has been better than anything in the last 10 seasons of General Hospital. Wow, Miss Baxter, that is so inappropriate. I was your age once too, young lady. And not as long ago as you might think. And if I've learned anything from years of bad television and almost as many years of watching you form on adult adolescence, is that what you and that nice boy have together is very real and very rare. And I think I just ruined it. How could he ever forgive me after I kept that terrible secret away from him? The one secret I actually managed to keep. There's just nothing I can say to make up for it. Actions speak louder than words. And at this point in the story, any protagonist worth her salt would make the grand gesture. Grand gesture? Hmm. Like what? Well, I can't give you all the answers now, can I? There's one strange lady. It, 
it's open. I, uh, I might need some help. Uh, Taylor, are you, are you okay? What happened? Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. The, the bandage is just, just for show. Can I come in? Yep. The truth is, I lied when I said I needed help in physics. I mean, I guess that wasn't a lie, but it wasn't the reason why I came over to you. We were playing a stupid game of truth or dare, and I always choose truth, so they were making fun of me. And when I chose dare, Zane dared me to ask you out. But all of you thought that asking out the cripple kid was so funny. You probably never talked to a girl before, right? No, no! I had no idea you were in a wheelchair! I swear on my life, I thought you were just some cute guy. But then again, it's Zane, so I figured there had to be something... <laughs> you were right! I'm broken, I'm half a person. I just... Don't know why I thought that someone like you could be with someone like me. You're wrong. Listen. Charlie. You are the fullest person I've ever met. I mean, you're good. You're kind and so smart. You make me better every single day. You inspire me every day. People like Zane? They're the ones with something missing. People like me. And you're right, if not for that dare, I probably would have never tried to get to know you. But I'm so glad I did because now I know people shouldn't be judged by the way they look or what they say and especially not by their disabilities. Yeah. People should be judged by their actions. Uh, that, that was a really, really good speech and all, but, uh, what's, uh, what's with the crutches? Oh, um, so, Miss Baxter said I needed some kind of, uh, grand gesture to win you back, and, uh, I borrowed these from the sports medicine department. And I was going to walk around with these until you forgave me. I know, I know, it's, it's not even close to what you experienced, but... I wanted to understand it even just a little. Well, bring them back then, before you actually hurt yourself and need them. Because honestly, I don't think you can manage. So, does this mean you forgive me? That depends. Do you have one more dare in you? What do you have in mind? Excuse me! Me? Yeah, you boy, now you tell me. Do you have eyes? Do I have? That's a rhetorical question, son. Means you don't answer it. Fancy school like this, you don't know what a rhetorical question is? Uh, now, I, I tell you, this here bathroom is for people with disabilities, so I ask you, do those eyes work? Do I answer this one? Well, you're gonna answer for it. You come with me. Go. 
Good afternoon, hi, uh, Miss Baxter. And to you, Frank. Go! And so, as it's written in 1 Corinthians, neither the greedy nor thieves inherit the kingdom of God. But your donations have been abundant, and the Lord will repay your generosity and your service to the community. Peace be with you all, and I look forward to our fellowship next weekend. Heavenly Father, I'm begging for your forgiveness, for I have sinned. I promise, Peace be upon you. this is the only time I'm taking the money. And as soon as I have more money, I'll give back twofold. Is there anything I can help you with? No. Thank you. Good day. Peace be upon you. It's such a happy day, I'm singing a song. It's such a happy way, come on, sing along. It's undeniable how a smile can change. Mom? It's me, darling. What took you so long? I was hungry. I know, Anne. But that's exactly why I brought you some food. You have something to eat? Yes, we do. Are you eating? Not this time. You can have the rest of it. Oh no, sweetie. You can have as much as you want. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. Dear God, I know I promised I would never steal money from the church again. But as you know, I have a blind daughter and no money to feed her. I know the Bible says that you'll take care of us no matter what, but I just can't stand looking at my daughter's face when I tell her we have no food left. She really tries to hide her disappointment, but it's obvious. Maybe. Maybe this donation box is your way of helping us. I know I'm a sinner for taking this money, but I'm really out of options here. Please forgive me one more time. What? Nothing. I literally just saw her stealing from the donation box. Maybe you can invite her to the charity event this weekend. Just give her one more chance. That's what we would do as Christians, would we not? Just give it a shot. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Karen. May I? Sure. We were talking about a charity event with the pastor. We were thinking about a charity bake sale. That would be a great opportunity uh, to have a cozy gathering with our community while also collecting money for a children's home that caught fire last week. They need more money to rebuild the parts that burned down. 
Yes, I've, I've heard about it. I was wondering whether you wanted to bake anything for the event. I'd love to. It's just, um, we're renovating our kitchen. I can't use it at the moment. I see. Well, is there anything else I could help with? Or? I'm not sure yet. But you can still come. I'm sure there'll be something for you to help with. I'd love to. I'll be there. Great. I'll see you on Sunday then. See you then. Hi, sweetie, I'm home. I've got lunch and dinner for us. And I've got your favorite candy. Anne? Anne? Mm, Mom? I'm not feeling so good. Oh. You're burning up, sweetie. Is it bad? Well, it's pretty high, but let's hope it's not too serious. Rest up for now, okay? Scared. What are you scared of? What if I never get better? But of course you will, sweetie. I don't know. I feel pretty bad right now. I'll get the meds today. Really? I promise. You made it! Of course. Oh, great. Emily baked some cupcakes and gave them to me this morning. Unfortunately, due to some family emergency, she couldn't be here today. So, I thought if you have nothing else to do, you could help sell them. Yes, I'd love to help. Oh, perfect. Great. You can already go there. And we're going to start in a minute, okay? Okay. Perfect. Oh, uh, by the way, each cupcake is $5. Okay. Okay. Hi, hi. May I have two, please? Of course. Ten dollars, please. Thanks very much. Thank you. <clears throat> It'll be fifteen dollars, please. Thank you. Twenty-five dollars. Ten dollars, please. Thank you. Thank you.
thank you. Well, I'm glad to announce we sold everything. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I'll just ask everyone to give me their money jars. And soon we'll announce just how much money we made. <laughs> thank you so much. Do you need some help with the money count? Sure. Any help would be appreciated. Here, you can help me with this one too. Thank you. Then we can go over here. One moment, I'll grab a piece of paper to write down how much money there is. I didn't mean to. I didn't have any other choice. What's going on here? You have to believe me. Rachel was stealing some of the donated money. I knew it. I told you I saw her stealing from the donation box the other day, and now this? She had 40 cupcakes. Each of them was $5. She should have collected $200. And there were only 165 in her jar. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Do you think an apology will be enough? You stole from our church, from our community, from children who didn't have families and now lost their temporary home too. You are a thief. Karen, that's enough. What, but she... I know what she did. What I don't know is why she did it. Can you tell us? I know there's no excuse for what I did. But before I tell you why I stole, I... I'd like to apologize to everybody. Truth is, two years ago, my daughter Anne and I moved to the city because I got a really great job as a content writer. I was gonna have enough money for food and to provide for my blind daughter. And then AI happened. the company started laying off people because they didn't need writers anymore. They could just get AI to write text for free. I went to a bunch of interviews, but I couldn't seem to get a job. And eventually we ran out of money. I didn't care that I have nothing to eat, but I couldn't keep looking at my daughter's face when I tell her that I have no food for dinner. Last week, I took some money out of the offering plate. I promised myself that I would never steal again. But then my daughter got sick. And I have no money for a doctor or medication. So I stole this money for her. Because if I don't get the medication, I don't know what's going to happen to her.
you should not have stolen. But you didn't do this for yourself. You did this to save your child. And that was an act of love. But stealing is a sin. Excuse me, Father. There was a verse you were telling us in the Bible about forgiveness. I think it was from a sermon last month. Yes. Yes, I did. The Apostle Peter came to the Lord Jesus, and this was his question. Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brothers and sisters who have sinned against me? Up to seven times? And Jesus answered, not seven times, but 77 times. So we should help Rachel, even though she sinned against us. I think that would be the right thing to do. I'm a doctor. I can go with you, Rachel, to check on your daughter. I have a job opening, opening my company. Rachel, maybe you'd like to join. Yes, thank you. I hope you learn that God is always watching out for you. You never had to steal. Look at how many people willingly came to help you. You only had to ask for help. I know now. Thank you all. Hey, Secret Keepers, we hope you enjoyed another great episode of Secret Diaries. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, since we're standing in front of the green screen, uh, we're going to strike a few poses and we dare you to turn us into a few memes. <laughs> All right.